And we're going to be going to the first map on coastline. Yeah, I was saying before, it's an interesting map. We don't really see it much in competitive. It's not really often chosen, so it should be interesting to see what both these teams can come up with. Yeah, even in competitive play in Pro League, we usually don't see coastline uh, a large amount of the time. And it's, uh, I'm interested to see what these teams do for this match, see if they have anything uh, interesting in store for this. Yeah, we did see a temporary blitz there, but they decided to swap out for Thatcher. And this is going to be uh, Powerhouse Scarlet on the defense starting out. Yeah. It's interesting to see Blitz coming into the meta now, before the buff. It'll be interesting to see if the buff stays through how, how much of an effect it'll have to locate and within the competitive um, roster's health, and he'll be chosen for their lineups. Yeah, and uh, for those who do not know, Blitz is uh, getting a buff, uh, a speed boost. Uh, it's uh, up to you if you want to call it a buff or not. Most people believe it's a buff, and uh, he is very fast and very scary. Uh, he can sneak up on you pretty quickly. I wouldn't say sneak up. <laughs> a, tra a train heading towards you, but definitely a menace in the map. Seeing a very basic, I'd say, penthouse defense here. Usually chosen first by most teams, I'd say. We can see the mirrors, mirrors being set up to cover the hallway and probably into penthouse itself. And it looks like we're gonna have a decent amount of sight players with uh, having a mirror, smoke, and echo. So, uh, so usually teams only bring a smoke or an echo, but it looks like Powerhouse Scarlet is decided to bring both. We're going to see McLovin here from Aggressor making his way into the main lobby area, looking up into the hatch of the objective. Yeah, it's a very fast and aggressive push. I don't know if he realizes that the Valkyrie is just right out of sight there. All she has to do is stand up to be seen. But it's definitely a very, very quick push there. Just really gaining bottom floor control really fast. And it looks like everyone's sitting in the theater. McLovin's gonna bust out the floor with his breaching charge. And he's able to take out the black mirror. That's on the objective. Oh, uh, just making his way with the help of his caber. He's gonna get taken out by Optimus. First kill of the round. It seems very, very aggressive pushes here from aggressive here. As I say, living up to the name. And Pulse will get taken out, as I say, up by an Ash charge from underneath. But. It's a very, very aggressive push here, and we can see it's paying off. They've already taken out two of the defenders. They, they've lost an attacker, but then we see it's four versus two. Four versus one. Ash is pushing in, doing what Ash does best, just running in and fragging out. And the attackers will win that round, taking out the last one of Wubs in theater. It's a very good push there from Aggressor. Yeah, Aggressor did an amazing job that first round, just taking a commanding <laughs> charge just right off the bat. And uh, if you're going to do anything crazy, I think the best time to do it is the first round. Because you really put the other team on their toes. Yeah, and it's really, it really sets the tone for the rest of the game. Kind of shows, kind of asserts dominance, such you might say. But kind of just shows aggressor kind of saying, you know, we're not going to play around. We're going to get in there fast. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're not going to be scared of your strats. And it paid off. I and, uh, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah, they actually uh, oh, won predominantly, and uh, that's pretty much because Scarlet didn't really have much of a roam game. They had three players sitting on site, uh, so they didn't really have anywhere to go uh, elsewhere with that. And you also saw that McLovin was uh, acting like uh, Buck, the skeleton key. But this time it was Ash with the breaching rounds just busting out the floor from underneath and doing it up through the board, uh, floorboards. Yeah, definitely had the right effect with Buck. You can hear him bucking at first as he comes through and it gives it a just for the Ash charge. It's kind of more effective in a search because it just suddenly bursts the floor from underneath you and we saw it surprised uh, the mirror and it killed Pulse actually itself. Something Buck might not be able to pull off. but. It's really interesting as you say that there's so many people on site, like, because usually we see on this site a lot of people roaming with very few people on site. You know, we see the mirror behind the mirror, maybe someone else in theater supporting, but a lot of people play around like in VIP, so it's a really interesting hold. 
didn't quite work out for Scarlet. Oh, now they're going to be on the attack here. And it looks like Wolves is going to be taken out immediately by the, the aggressive play from Spades as Smoke of all operators. I'm sure he wasn't really expecting that out of Smoke. Going for the spawn peak. Smoke will get lit back up there from Sadness. And he's just going to look like go back towards site or just change his room around. But it's very good play though, as you say, he wasn't expecting that. You know, you didn't really expect to smoke to be sitting at the um, kitchen delivery door. And as we were just talking, Arrow will be taken down by uh, Trisha. So, Aggressor, just all uh, things are firing for Aggressor right now. They're uh, playing pretty aggressively. And as I say, that Doc will be taken out by Docs. And it might be another one. It is a headshot by Docs onto the Ella, or the Legion, my bad. Now Spades. Spades really dancing around there with the Ying, but he does get him. Finish him off. Struggling though, as Ying does lie down just before. But very nice play there from the Smoke. Playing very aggressively again out of that kitchen door. They're still not covering it, which allowed him to kill the Glass all the way on that other roof. And the Ying outside repelling on the VIP balcony. Yeah, and the mirror will get the last kill on the Badger as he peeks from Hall of Fame. Making it another very, very good decisive pass round there for Aggressor. Yes, yeah, excision, excision will finish that one off uh, with the mirror play. Oh, sorry. Excision, is it? Sorry, I thought it was Excelsion. <laughs> so, uh, Aggressor starting off 2-0 here, and they're, they're playing very aggressive, like we were uh, saying earlier. Uh, I'm not really sure we could, uh, ex could have expected this. Yeah. As I say, I've seen some of their... I, I um, was spectating some of their scrims for and Aggressive played very similarly against the team, pushing very aggressively on Oregon. And it seems like it's the kind of playstyle they go for. You know, trying to take the opponents off guard as they're still trying to go for a setup, maybe still positioning themselves. And they're going to be still rushing into the side, but, you know, destroying them underneath. Just catching people off guard. And this will uh, pretty much strike fear in the powerhouse Scarlet because they're going to play things much more cautiously and slower. So it's going to waste a lot of time uh, that uh, Aggressor is playing so aggressively. Yeah, but we are going to see them again go for a penthouse defense. Not really wanting to change up very much their stress. Just sticking to maybe what they practice the most. You know, as I said, it's kind of the most default site for most teams. But... We'll see if they can change it up, maybe change around their positioning, their strategy, maybe roaming, and let's be precise, try and win out this round this time. Oh, well, they did trade out Smoke and uh, Echo for, I believe, a Legion and Bandit. So that looks like they're going to be trying to roam a little bit more and not have so many sight players. Yeah, Ooh, as I said, a McLovin picks up an early kill into Wubs again. He seems to be very effective for his team, just with those aggressive plays there, just pushing on. Jaeger trying to, Jaeger in fairness trying to push aggressively back, but just couldn't quite win the gunfight. But did leave Ash very low, which is going to mean she has to reset now, as we sweet switch doing now. And Callouts is making up his uh, way up Blue Vibe stairs. He's probably going to get met by Optimus. Optimus is getting lit up here. He's getting droned out, so he's got the. Uh, flee away while he can. And he's probably gonna flank up the stairs or attempt to. Look at Drone again, and Ash does finish him off as he is on extremely low health. He did try to cleverly get kind of maybe pull his position there, leaving himself exposed to too many angles. Trying to take out that drone, missing his shots. Clearly panicking. And we see Spades take out Optimus. Now it looks like Excision is gonna open up. The site with this extra storm recharge, but Mick Lovin's gonna finish it off first. Yeah, so aggressor <laughs> starting off 3-0 here. Now this could be a map, perhaps that uh, Power Scarlet one expecting. Maybe they've not practiced so well. As I said, it's not the most common map in comp play, so they may. This might be even Power Scarlet's map, and um, we could see them do much better in the next game. But I can imagine from how this is going so far, aggressor's gonna have a very quick game now. Yeah, if uh, Powerhouse Scarlet can't uh, slow the pace of the gameplay 
right now because I don't even think we got through halfway of a round so far in uh, either of these three rounds. So uh, they're going to have to slow things down if they want to have a chance here. Because if they lose it's one more round, they're going to be up against match point down 4-0. Yeah, and that's going to be a massive struggle to come back from... I mean, that's come back at least four rounds and then obviously an extra two rounds at least. Which won't be the easiest. And they're probably tired. It'd be very exhausting for them. But we see, they might come back from this. We don't know. And now they have to do a hookah. Maybe consider the weaker side than Pen. Powerhouse might have a better time trying to attack this site. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be bringing along the rambunctious uh, Blitz. Uh, well he's, he might not be as full powered yet, but he, he's definitely good to kind of get there. Yeah, it's kind of led a lot of people to question why Ubisoft did decide to buff him. After he saw quite a lot of use, you could say, in Pro League. In the Invitationals. You know, he's strong enough, as you know, some would say as he is, but... You know, it's up to people how they decide how effective the buff will be. Ooh, Optimus does see the smoke, who again is playing very aggressively, but this time it won't work out for him. Oh, sorry, a mute. I do apologize. Again, we're seeing these aggressive plays here from Aggressor, just trying to peek out. And a lot of doors maybe shouldn't. It looks like Ella and Legion are going to bunch up together, trying to push out the ash from Sunrise. And, and Mick Love is able to finish off Wubs. Oh, wow, what a play there. You usually don't see such aggressive play like we see right here. And Callouts is going to take out Optimus. The things are falling apart here for Powerhouse Scarlet. Yeah, I think this map is really suiting Aggressor's playstyle, making it really easy for them to shout and just catch those attackers off by guard, off their guard. And it's allowing them to pick up a lot of kills. You see the Legion and the Ella both pushing extremely aggressively. And now the Legion pushes Blackbeard, and he's going to finish him off with the impact. He does have the defuser, he might not realize, but we now have Blitz on his own in the kitchen trying to take on score defenders as someone comes around. And as I say that, he does get taken out by McLovin, leaving Havana alone outside Sunrise. And I think if anyone's going to be an MVP of this map, it's probably going to be McLovin. He's doing a lot of work right now. We're halfway through the round, and it, Powerhouse Scarlet only has Arrow left. And as I say that, he'll be taken out by McLovin. That was really unfortunate timing there from the Hibana, like holding on to that angle just until it's too late. As we see, he's back to McLovin. And I think you're right there. McLovin is really proving himself useful for Aggressor here in this matchup. And I, I can't say I've ever seen so much uh, dominating Legion play. <laughs> mm. Usually we see Legion be very passive because he has to wait out that timer to get all eight Legion traps. But I guess he likes his gun and he likes using him aggressively. And that it did work out for him, and it worked out for his team. Now bringing them to match point already, so quickly into the game. Yeah, so Powerhouse Scarlet has a lot of work cut out for them. Uh, they would have to win four rounds in a row to even have a chance to go to overtime here. And at the rate it's going right now, it's not looking too good for them. Yeah. So uh, maybe they'll have a better chance on the other maps of Clubhouse and possibly Consulate. We get there. Yeah, we might see powers do better on Clubhouse in the basement defense as it will allow them to cut off that aggressive plays for aggressor. Because you can kind of turtle off the site and just hold them off the main avenue. But right now in this game, it's not quite working out for them. And we are going to see them change over to good defense. Kind of learning that Penthouse isn't quite working out. They've got kind of destroyed both times they tried there. And it looks like they're just going to give. Hooker go and see if they can do any better on that. Attackers are heading out to the and it looks like they're going to try to armor up here with the, the use of Doc and Rook. Uh, two operators that can uh, give yourself a, your team a lot of health, I can say. I'm sure those Rhino armor packs are definitely going to help them out. Yeah, certainly, but we are again going to see really, really aggressive plays. Blitz already pushing into sight here. No one is there to contest him. However, someone is in Billy as he does like to flag, leaving him with extremely low health. But Callouts will finish the kill on the dock, leaving the Vigil to try and challenge three attackers on site. McLovin picking up another onto Optimus, and that was leaving two of the defenders alone against this attacking power. And as I said, that arrow loses his life. Blitz will get traded off. 
but it's unlikely. I'll... Sadness will bring it to a 1v2 though, however. Maybe not so expected, but I can't see him really clutching this. But as I say that though, he makes it a 1v1. And he could bring this back for his team. Yeah, Diffuser is down, so Excision is going to have to hold this off from Sadness. Uh, it would have been would be a 1v5 comeback, I, I believe. And this guy at the and he'll miss his shots. Excision gets the kill. And we'll finish it off here on Clubhouse. Yeah, that was very well played there from Sadness, bringing it back for his team. You know, kind of trying to fix the mess they left him in, but unfortunately, wasn't quite enough there. He missed his shots on the thermite, and the thermite, the higher damage gun, could just kill that rook just a bit faster. So complete dominance by Aggressor. Uh, finish it off. Powerhouse Scarlet on the first map here. Yeah, we do we'll... see McLovin getting 12 kills for his team. Yeah, he, he got multiple kills every round, I believe. And that was only four rounds, so he averaged about three kills every round. So that, that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, very interesting, very telling match here. We will be going to Clubhouse. We're going to see maybe how to do a tiny bit better. As I said, they might be able to control the lanes of like lanes of traffic between the attackers. They might be able to hold them off a little bit. But let's see how they fare in this. And we're going to be seeing Powerhouse Scarlet on the defense once again. To start it off here. Uh, I think they're going to have a little bit more of a chance here on Clubhouse. The less aggressor to see. Comes complete uh, comes out and surprises us with some crazy uh, strats they have with their uh, trending aggressive play, like we've been saying. But yeah. it's it's kind of hard to rush for the site on the basement. Yeah, however, I think bringing this fuse is quite telling of the kind of push they are going to go for. They are going to be imagine the fuse might be playing above the kitchen hatch, like in the kitchen hatch area, maybe trying to push the defenders out. Armory and maybe trying to push aggressively and get a B plant down quite early on. We don't quite know, but it is interesting them bringing a fuse as he really only has any effect on this in this kitchen part. As we see, looking down onto B next to the pulse wall. Yes, they will be bringing uh, both the FBI operators and the Russian operators, so uh, <laughs> just leaving Blitz by himself. No IQ for Blitz, but uh, Five seconds we're, we're seeing a couple combos coming out here. Yeah, it's an interesting lineup. Certainly not one you're used to seeing for a basement attack on Clubhouse. I imagine the Blitz is going to be used to try and push out maybe for blue, or just push the defenders back away from the stairs, kind of making it a lot clearer for the attackers to get in, plant. We might even go down Dirt Tunnel with Thermite, as we're seeing about right now. Trish is going to be drawing them out. It doesn't even look like they've reinforced it. They haven't. It looks like they're going to be meleeing holes in the Dirt Tunnel. I'm not quite sure what they're doing here. Maybe they expect someone to be waiting there. But definitely interesting that they chose just to ignore the Dirt Tunnel, board it off, and just say they can have Dirt Tunnel. And as I say, that Blitz will be running down. With glass, very aggressive, pushing right up towards the door. And it looks like Powerhouse Scarlet is going to have to flee away from Armory at this rate. Uh, with the aggressive push from Dirt Tunnel, we're going to see Carlos take out Wubs. The yeah, Wubs glass. Is not expecting that from Glass just to rush him from Dirt Tunnel and take him out. And again, Mirror on her drone, not ready. Jaeger being taken out as well. And it's a 5v1 already. Glass does get taken out, but Spades does get it back onto Sadness. Another very, very aggressive round there, just rushing through Dirt Tunnel, pushing inside. None of the defenders looking the right way or expecting it at all. And this is uh, Aggressor winning six rounds in a row, uh, having lost one round. And it looks like they're keeping their uh, mentality of just going all out on attack and defense. And not giving Powerhouse uh, Scarlet to get their uh, the foot in the door, so they're just they're getting blown out right now. They're going to have to change the pace of the game and take uh, abuse the fact that Aggressor is uh, being uh, so uh, 
uh, aggressive, I guess you can say. Yeah. I'm surprised Powerhouse really haven't adapted and been expecting this kind of play. As I said, none of them are ready for that, but they know Aggressor from the last game were extremely aggressive, so you think they might have been a bit more ready for that kind of push. Yeah, they just completely gave up Dirt Tunnel. Usually you see something like a, a smoke plane in Dirt Tunnel to stall off uh, with uh, some barbed wire and uh, remote gas grenades, but you, we just didn't really see that. We were, They were using the, the play from the poles, and Pulse doesn't really stop a dirt push, he just, he sees if it's coming. Yeah. And that, that didn't really help them in that situation there. It seemed comms were extremely poor there, maybe, between the team. Maybe too fast paced for them to kind of take into account. As we saw, the Pulse did see them coming, but the Ella just wasn't ready for them to come running in. And then after the Ella was killed and the Pulse, the mirror wasn't ready in blue either. It kind of seemed like maybe... Either miscommunication or just kind of underestimation there from Powerhouse on to aggress and not expecting to just keep pushing and pushing. And we're seeing Spades bringing Frost here. Interesting operator to pick here. Uh, you usually don't see too much Frost play. And it looks like they're going to be sitting in Kitchen trying to hold it off. Uh, they don't really have anywhere to go to. Unless they want to rotate the stock. But uh, outside of that, they don't really have uh, any exit. Yeah, definitely an interesting speed up Frost, and especially being played so aggressively. Again, we are going to be seeing this dirt tunnel not reinforced and just being left for the attackers to walk down. It's interesting to see both these teams doing that, because we see how much of an impact dirt tunnel can have, especially if a glass playing in the middle of the smokes. You're going to be seeing... Well. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to be seeing Sadness uh, make his way to Kitchen. Callouts has done a run out to come behind the Glass. The Glass will be expecting it, but he's missing his shots. But Callouts is extremely low, but he will get the kill on the five versus three. We're seeing massive aggression again, but Frost will be retraded there, coming out of Kitchen. And we're we're about halfway through the round. This is probably uh, one of the longest rounds we've been having so far. Nitro cell detonating. Yeah, and, uh, halfway into it for once. That space was taken out, but Callout is uh, escaping with his life. Very low health. And we see Sadness get the pick on McLovin. It's quite influential. We've seen how good McLovin can be for his team. And Vigil was extremely low. We could say it's really more of a 2v3 2B, here. As I say that, though, Trisha does pick up on the docks, making it 3v2 in the defender's favor. But as I say, Vigil is extremely low and will not take one bullet. Blitz here trying to get a kill, but will take taken out by the smoke. But he played aggressively in Dark Tunnel, but couldn't quite get over that deployable shield. And that will finish it off for Powerhouse Scarlet on that round. Um, they they got a couple kills, but it it just wasn't nearly enough to finish it off. Yeah, as you see, aggressor again, just really playing aggressively. I I imagine they named their team with knowledge of how they're going to be playing because it can't be a coincidence how aggressive they're <laughs> yeah, they are they're giving the other team a hint at what's to come yeah and i think oh, what's I, I think that's what what's making it work for them is that they're they're working together in these pushes and that's why they're working out so well Attack if they're just going one at uh, one at a time trying to kill people it's, it's just not gonna work but as a team if they're all in together and they should be able to make it work. As we're kind of see a server's site here by Powerhouse, uh, hopefully we'll see something spicy here. I know you can play it with a, a black mirrors, the black mirrors that will hold off site or attempt to, uh, but maybe they have other plans in mind here. Yeah, I think this is a very, very interesting round. We're seeing a cache and serve a defense without the mirror, which is considered the only way to be able to successfully defend this site so well. And then we're also seeing two recruits from the attacking team, maybe a bit of boldness and maybe you could say arrogance there from them, expecting easy wins. I mean, as we've seen, they've not given away one round yet in the powerhouse. So we could say it's, you know, rightly assumed kind of confidence, but still interesting for this to happen. I'm not sure what recruit they are. They're trying to go for, looks like maybe four shields and a black bit. But 
Well, it seems, it seems that, that they're messing around with the, the recruit shields. Um, I mean, given that they're up six to zero in rounds so far, uh, they don't they don't want to really throw it away. They, they just want to finish it off. This is the playoffs. Uh, they do have a good cushion, but they definitely just want don't want to throw. I've definitely seen teams throw uh, before by yeah. doing play like this. Uh, we do see how I was trying to maybe push back some of this aggression back onto aggressor, but it won't go too well. The yellow will be taken out. They did manage to take out the Montane, but we see the rope trying to peek out onto the blitz here in pool room. All the smoke is trying to bend off all the other attackers. We're gonna see McLove and uh, take out Arrow. Um, abusive blitz play being used here. The sadness is going to get cornered. <laughs> He's the blitz. He's not much of a chance, but he will go around with the stock. A nice flying crap. Kind of saves him for some time, but again, they do see he went there, and they do have a chance to just start pushing him back again, pouring him in. And we're going to see Excision take out Dox here. And that'll be Trisha getting a kill on the sadness. So it's all up to Optimus here against three shield ops, you could say. And Ooh. he's going to stand no chance as Callouts gets the headshot on him. Definitely an interesting round there. I don't think the defenders were quite ready for four shields and a black beard to be pushing them like that. Maybe put off guard. Their aggressive plays might have been working to, against maybe some other you know non-shield operators who wouldn't have had the protection, but the four shields kind of protecting them. As I say that, five recruits coming out from Powerhouse. This game is kind of turning into a meme here. Yeah, it seems that Powerhouse is uh, losing sight of what they're playing for. and uh, I mean, they, they haven't won a round yet, so it, it's kind of uh, uh, underwhelming for them. I'm sure they're pretty disappointed, but that, yeah. uh, it's not over yet. They can certainly turn it around, but they're, they're going to definitely have to put a foot down if they want to get things to change here. Because they've been getting outmatched in pretty much every category so far. Yeah, it's quite interesting to see that the aggressor won't be going to recruits again. I think maybe Powerhouse will be a bit sad that they've gone to all this effort with recruits just to be a wall of fully stressing defenders. But I don't know. I, th I think aggressor, I think aggressor in the bag here. I don't. I would Say they have to be throwing and messing around quite a lot to give away this game. They're clearly their showing their proficiency and just out to the taking out and wiping out the enemy team. But we are seeing a knife fight actually. This is giving me flashbacks to the show match of <laughs> the Invitational. Yeah, I don't think they all brought recruits though. Is this a semi final or or is this it's just casual? I'll be seeing a lot of knives coming out, although they are shooting. Rather interestingly, which will receive a response there as the attacker starts to shoot back. Leaving it to a 1v1 here. That was all the Optimus. And he will you... lose the fight though. And uh, recruits aren't definitely the worst thing because they definitely have frag grenades. And there's only three attackers that have frag grenades uh, other than the recruits. It's IQ, Sledge, Buck. Uh, so. That's one thing for the recruits. They they have shields and they have frag grenades. Yeah. So not the worst thing. It's better than uh, uh no frag grenades. Yeah. Come on. So this match is uh pretty much finished up, I believe, for the most part. Uh, Powerhouse. They haven't won a single round. They lost nine in a row, and it might possibly be ten. Yeah, and we're already seeing it on match point again. Defenders, protect and I think this is going to be maybe very sobering for Powerhouse Scarlet. They might do a lot of develop strategies of such an aggressive team. Maybe if they face someone else for their semi better chance. But, you know, their, their, their strats, whatever they do as a defensive team, as an attacking team, it just doesn't quite work out. And they're really, they don't ever really quite seem prepared for what is the obvious aggression aggressor. And this might be the fastest match I've ever casted. It might possibly be a 10-0. Uh, 
But excellent, excellent play by Aggressor though. Five seconds to insert. Yeah, definitely a team to be reckoned with. And I imagine they have a very good chance when they if they go through this into the final. Attackers are heading out. Yeah, I can imagine them winning this. Alright, we're gonna be seeing Excision bring the Supernova. Uh, never seen anyone use that before. Yeah. We're but seeing... he does have the Barry 9. <laughs> we're seeing um, Aggressor offer to throw around for Powerhouse. They got. Just say no, and Aggressor will be pushing in to the pool table very <laughs> aggressively, as per usual. Trying to win out this round here. McLovin picked up the kill onto Wubs already. It seems McLovin takes out Wubs early on nearly every round. Wubs must be feeling really annoyed. He will take out the Ella, the Ella not suspecting the angle from the front door. That's a free versus two. Trisha having taken out Docs. We're seeing a Govera and Legion now to clutch us out against very, very capable fraggers. As I say that, McLovin does finish off the Legion. Govera picks up onto Blackbeard. She's on extremely low health and McLovin will finish her off. Well, there you go. Aggressor winning 5-0. Clubhouse 5-0 on coastline, so uh, that'll be a 10-0, and that will make them the team going to the finals. And uh, Powerhouse Scarlet will lose in the semifinals here. Yeah, I imagine Powerhouse Scarlet feeling a bit upset now, maybe annoyed with their performance. I think they're going to be doing a lot, but I think it's definitely. An interesting game to watch and cast, but um, it's very, very, very decisive, strong victory. There from, like I said, I can imagine them having a very. I imagine the other semi finalists looking how aggressive plays, and they'll probably be trying to develop strats to kind of counter this aggressive play that Powerhouse just couldn't quite grasp. Yeah, that, that that's pretty much a, a clean sweep there, that wipeout. Uh, but here in the contender series, or, or I believe, like, at the lower ranks of like anything, you're you're gonna have like a a large skill gap. It's gonna be a a, a big mix of different play styles, and there's there's a meta, but it's uh, not really defined uh, at this level. But I believe, and so you're gonna have a lot of different play styles. You saw, I never seen a team just go all out like that, and that that was their game plan. Uh, yeah. It worked every single round. Yeah, I. I am kind of interested though to see how Powerhouse just really couldn't quite grasp how to kind of counter. I was, I was expecting him, especially coming onto this map, maybe be playing a lot differently. I mean, I think they did try, but I think Aggressor are really, really good at their gunfights. And even when kind of Powerhouse tried pushing back at them and kind of being counter aggressive, I just think they couldn't quite get the win in. They couldn't quite take them out. Let me see McLovin again being such a useful frag of team kind of having a massive effect yeah i'm not sure how many kills he got there in the on clubhouse but i'm sure he got uh 20 kills in about 10 rounds or so so a good play from him yeah definitely maybe the mvp for his team but i mean he is playing ash he is meant to be fitting dragging but we did see him play some really interesting aggressive plays with lesion maybe not quite so expected yeah so very dominant uh, gameplay from Aggressor, and they'll be going to the finals. And uh, we do not have a 10 o'clock match for tonight. Uh, this match didn't last an hour. So that'll be all for from us tonight. And we'll be back tomorrow, I believe, with the Invite Series. So stay tuned for that. We should have a couple playoff matches there for you guys to watch. So just watch out for those. And uh, this was Batums and Slash. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say before we head out? No, just good luck to aggress in the final and good job. My my condemnation, no, my commiserations for Powerhouse. They still played well, I think, even though they didn't quite get around. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching my first thing anyway. Pretty good.